We'd like to get a few more people up. Thank you for hosting this. I think it's it's important, and I've been a city, state, and federal employee, so I understand what community meetings can be like. But I'm also concerned, and, and I'm it's great timing. I wanted to ask you about that study. Uh, my name is Buff Cavillman. I live at Gateway Plaza. I was the founding director of the National Design Awards for the Smithsonian, which was honored by the last three White House administrations. I also worked for the National Endowment for the Arts in the design program when Amanda Burden was head of this Battery Park City Authority and it was being designed as a user-based community with taxpayer money, a mixed income residence, mixed use, um, ecological, and a number of the designers and planners won the National Design Award, including Amanda. But for the South End Avenue study, the firm where she used to work which was totally about user-based design, did not win. So I'd like to understand the contracting process because the contracts I've examined here have been awarded not to the most qualified, as in the case of the Marina or South End, but it seems to me to firms that have other connections to you and the governor or to big business. So I would also like to ask the question about the South End study. How is it user-based? And when we answer the questions that you've said we'll all have an opportunity to answer, how will those answers be weighted and used? The firm that's conducting that study is not known for doing that well. Do you want to answer on that? I mean, we're, the, the RFPs go through a selection process. There are bids. I, I mean, I have to say, with, you brought up the marina. We released those bids as soon as the contract was signed, which is the point at which we can release them legally. Anybody who wants to foil the, the bids that came in for the South End Avenue study, we will do the same. Once a contract is signed and the process is complete, those bids are public information and we can have a discussion I understand about the public process. As right. I said, so I've issued contracts and, and reviewed them too. But you, but... but what is the but question? But the question, question is, what, is the question? what Let's how... Why is it you're picking such unqualified people? Well, and, that, that, and, that, and more that, specifically, sir, in the case of this study, how will our answers be used okay. by this it, it, firm? It, it, right. What, you're, what you're, will happen with, what is the process for okay. redesigning that corridor? Your characterization of the firm uh, is subjective, and it's your opinion that they're not qualified? Does it anyone is? on your authority have design and planning background? I heard construction, Wall Street, business. I did not hear design and planning, which I have. Okay, well, unfortunately, I mean, you're not a member of the board. You're not part of the selection committee of the staff. I don't know what to tell you. I'm telling you that we went so through So then process. on what basis did you understand the design and planning issues in, in that study? I'd really like to understand it better. The staff there, we do have people with design experience yes, on our staff. Yes, we do. Okay. And so we evaluated the proposals we have, and again, we're mandated in terms of how various components of a proposal are weighted. It's, okay. You know, one, obviously, a big one, for example, is cost. You have to get through a qualification screen, of course. The firm you chose in this case was screen. not the least expensive Pardon? or the most qualified, Pardon? though. I know how those are weighted by a point system, right? Right. right. This firm that you chose was not the cheapest, nor was it the most qualified. So my this, question this is still, is the what firm, is the it process is, it they're is, going through? It is the firm that won the bid based on the criteria that we use. The, the RFP that they had to respond, all of this is available in a public record. If you want to read all of those details, it's all available. It's all available to you. You can study up on it, and you'll know exactly what everybody said. Um, so then what is the process and how will our answers be used? Once we have them collected, we'll look, sit down and look, and there will be a discussion about what we're thinking of for what the outcome of the study is. We have no idea what the outcome of this study is going to be at this point. You're talking a confirmed redesign. I, I, we don't know. This survey has just started, and the residents haven't yet had a chance to respond. Right. So until such time as we have that information, we can't possibly talk about what the outcome is going to be. We, we don't have we don't know that's why we're doing it this way 
But in a study design, they should be able to tell you what they're you doing with answers to questions from the community, right? But, well, the, once you see the survey, there will be questions dedicated to exactly what you're talking about, and then at least we can have feedback from the community in a constructive manner about what might, should be changed, or maybe not changed at all. I mean, that's where we are. That's why we're doing this. There's, you know, there's all these things going on in the north. There's so much activity. The question is, with all, you know, what what is it, should we even consider isn't, changing Isn't things? this whole thing, isn't part of this whole thing reaching out, getting everybody's that, opinion? That, that, that's isn't that's that what, what we're this doing? is. That's, yes. what, that's what the, the, whole, the whole thing that's, we're doing here is to reach part. out and get everyone's opinion. Uh, Correct. Pardon? Before what? No, it's, it's she said before the decision is yeah, made. I think we should probably move on. We should. Yeah. Thank you. As a matter of fact, we've got maybe two more questions.